So our longitudinal reinforcement is going to be susceptible to buckling. And this can happen in two different ways. Uh, the first, we could have uh, buckling in between um, our transverse reinforcement. Uh, the second is uh, we could have buckling that occurs across multiple uh, legs of reinforcement. So what this is dependent on, uh, this is dependent on the stiffness that, that can be provided from the ties and the spacing that they're at. So we'll have some spacing S and also some area, which we'll call A, A sub TR. So uh, if we want to force a higher mode of buckling, uh, as shown on the left, what we'll need is we'll need a, a small enough spacing and also a large enough bar. And uh, this large tie is going to give us a sufficient stiffness.